Hey Van City Church, it's me Josh with another update video. I'm recording this and you might be watching this on what is New Year's Eve, December 31st. Everyone keeps talking as if uh, the end of 2020 marks the end of all 2020's hardships, but you know really nothing changes except the, ch except the calendar come tomorrow. In fact I read this morning that Elvis Costello released a you know, good riddance 2020 type of song, and I'm like, uh, things might still be rough at the beginning of 2021, but that's not why I'm here. I'm saying all that just to give you guys a little levity uh, in light of everything that I just said. We've been making these update videos for a while now, and I don't have to tell you that we're a little tired of it, which is why things are getting loose here in the studio, but... Uh, there are some updates, and the reason that we make these update videos, aside from to laugh, <laughs> at least in this one, is because we're meeting every Sunday evening at Vineyard Church at 5 p.m. We get together as a church, and we do some of the stuff that we used to do when the world seemed more normal, and a lot of it's very different, um, but it doesn't feel exactly like the right place to get up there and say, here's the announcement, and here's how the budget is doing. It's kind of a a different environment, and it's more meditative and contemplative, and we spend time in prayer. And right now, we can't even sing, so we spend time listening and worship, which is a very valid way to worship, and we open the scriptures, and we read, and we do Lectio Divina, all kind of practices like that. Um, so we make these videos as a way to just keep you updated on kind of the practical church stuff that doesn't fit in the environment of that gathering. So that's one reminder that if you can... We'd love to have you join us at Vineyard Church on Sunday evening. We are following all the state guidelines for safety and social distancing. We're actually doing more than the state guidelines. Um, so we, do, we care deeply about keeping everyone safe and honoring the rules, and we do everything we can to do that at all times. If you can't join us yet for safety reasons, we're streaming the gatherings the same time that they happen at 5 p.m. at vancity.church. Um, if you've seen any of these last couple of videos, then you know that the beginning of our fiscal year uh, hasn't been going uh, fantastic so far. We did have an excellent year uh, growing as a church in the spiritual discipline of generosity, radical generosity, really. We met budget almost every single month. We met budget for the year, which is something we had never done before as a church. It's just a remarkable way to actually look at a sheet of paper at a graph and see actual uh, quantifiable growth and spiritual maturity in giving, which was hugely reassuring. So I don't tell you that we are we haven't made budget yet for our new fiscal year as a you know a, a gesture of bumming everyone out. Which it seems like I'm bent on that in this video. I don't say that to bum anybody out or panic anyone or make anybody worried, but just as a reminder that the spiritual discipline of generosity, like all spiritual disciplines, requires faithfulness and action. It's something that we have to persist in and continue to grow in. It's not something that you develop mastery and then kind of step out of the flow of it, and it just keeps happening. We have to be purposeful and diligent in our giving so that we can survive financially as a church and continue to grow and thrive as a church. And here's a cool story about all that. This last month, a gentleman and his wife uh, reached out to me personally. They don't go to Van City. They're not in Vancouver. They're not in Washington. They're far, far away, um, but they've been listening to the podcast and watching the videos and keeping up to date, and they felt prompted by the Spirit of God to give to Van City Church, and their financial gift m made it to where we will definitely make budget for the following month regardless of what our actual inner core family does or does not give. And it was a reminder to me uh, that you know, the old adage is, oh, God provides, and I, I've been kind of embittered by the laziness of that line, but that God sees our church and cares about our church and that he's bringing people into our family from far away to connect dots and meet needs, and that's the way that the church with a capital C works. We come together as a family, we support and help one another, and it encouraged me, it encouraged me for the sake of our family, and I hope that it reminds all of us to grow and persist in generosity. So that's it for the update. Hopefully we'll see you guys soon on a Sunday evening, if not back to normal in the not-so-distant 2021 future.